We've seen him swim before. All right, fine, you can have the fish. Heaven's friendly again. Are you okay, my little queen? So I'm gonna sit here and wait out the storm. Don't know if I love her backing me into a corner. No, queen was raised by goats. She's just running into walls. Definitely looking at it. The fall in Central Texas sure is something else. Good evening, everybody. It's a beautiful day here at the Urban Rescue Branch. We're getting a light drizzle right now. And I have a fish. There's Master Ugwe. His wife is under the barn, I think. I bought this bad boy at the h-e-b that's our grocery store if you guys didn't know and i'm giving it to this beautiful little raccoon boy here who can't be released to the wild because he's too friendly man does it hurt when he grabs onto my skin like that oh he really wants this fish i'm surprised he even knows what this is this is his first fish after all as you guys can see he can get out of the rain here but now that it's going to start to get cold i'm going to put an igloo in here this guy is going to all things wild because he is going to either be educational ambassador raccoon but we can't put him back in the wild because he's way too friendly for that regardless i like to give them a natural diet and there's nothing like giving this boy a nice fresh fish all right fine you can have the fish goodbye but man oh man is it a nasty rainy day today i sure hope the rain doesn't affect the audio quality of this footage but i'm gonna show you guys what's new in the barn here it's nice and dry in here and there's no leaks so these goats are pretty happy our crocodilians like i said earlier get sun in here and baby gronk this beautiful little boy that could annihilate my finger right now if he wanted to is just loving this new enclosure bite from him would be so much worse Worse than a bite from Gustavo. But today I'm gonna to be going to get some fish for his little enclosure here. The water is treated and aerated, so it should be fine for some fish to live in there for him to hunt. We'll be setting up another one right here for Gustavo pretty soon. But the plan with this whole building is to fill it with little cages and racks for animals for the wildlife rehab. Just like the videos I showed you guys over at All Things Wild, we're gonna have a lot of ferret cages and other little things for squirrels, raccoons, possums, skunks, ringtails, and any other little random small mammals that we have in here. And this whole back area here will be for white-tailed deer and we'll keep these tubs for any turtles that are injured that we need to rehab as well this trench for the grounding wire is turning into a moat real fast i might even use this trench to put a french drain on top of that wire if possible and yes i will go out in the rain to show you guys what the property looks like during a rainstorm the cappies although they're aquatic do like to sit outside of the rain in a nice dry spot their hay here also stays nice and dry so i'm gonna sit here and wait out the storm a little bit with these little fellas who don't really seem to mind my company i believe that this one desires it what's funny is these ones even though they don't like me as much have to sit in here with me because it's raining and it's more uncomfortable for them if they don't but all the new sod that i emptied my bank account to put down is doing very well and getting tons of water as you guys can see so well in fact that these guys grazing on it hasn't even destroyed it or even harmed it one bit but okay i suppose i'll walk back into the rain to show you guys what's going on back here a lot of fertilizer getting washed into the ground right there and a lot of food going to waste this beautiful little boy doesn't seem to mind it at all. Garbanzo beans really loves the rain. And like I said in the last video, it's been raining so much that all of our ponds are starting to fill up. And we haven't had water in here in a good while. During a rainstorm like this, the baby's wife will find a nice little shady spot under here. But it doesn't really seem to be protecting her too much from the rain. Are you okay, my little queen? Yeah, she's doing okay. Let's see where the baby is. Oh, it's funny how all the animals are like, no, I hate this. And Garbanzo beans is just running around in circles over there. But okay, the baby. What do you think about the rain, sir? Not a big fan, huh? So the baby doesn't really seem to love the rain too much. Thankfully, we're just getting rolling storms in and out today. And it's still real warm here in Central Texas, so we don't have to worry about any of the animals getting chilled yet. But in a few nights, I think I'm going to have to start worrying about that. Again, though, like I said in the last video, the ostriches cannot have grass in this small of an area because when it rains, they make so much mud with how big they are. And they love to just walk around all day. They're a lot more comfortable walking than just sitting, even though these guys are just sitting right there. They're a little pond just filled up as you can see but because these guys are so big eventually i'm gonna have to move them to another area to graze oh sweet wampum look at these folds <laughs> or i could just put a ton of sand in here which should do a little bit better with drainage that's what a lot of other ostrich keepers that i know do so let me know what you guys think in the comments i might just give one of the females to mike to take care of and then eventually just open up a little bit more space over there but i haven't had to worry about refilling the water for these guys at all and the rhea have the same 
same kind of problem right here, as you can see. This is where they do the most walk, but because this is a larger space, there's still plenty of thriving grass throughout this whole area. And although Kevin showed signs of aggression to me earlier today, now he's not trying to fight. So I really do think it just has to do with the weather. But as you guys can see, Ostrich and Rhea are dumb, and even when there's a horrible rainstorm, they'll just sit outside and wait it out instead of going into their enclosures. Which is why last year I had to herd them in there before we had a freezing rain. Now that the Eagle Flight Pen is completely fenced in, I just need to go around and clean all the trash out of here. And because we won't have any eagles until next spring at least, I can go ahead and just start putting anything in here that I want. So I can finally start hoarding pigeons. Or invasive parakeets from Austin and Houston. But the big thing I need to do now before we can get this flight pen approved is create multiple little perching areas. We already have a decent space for shelter and I need to finish this pond here. And I think we're just gonna go ahead and dig it with our hands and just use a decent sized liner and some rocks that we can carry in here. Cause it's a little too late to do that with machines. But this is what it looks like during a rain, you guys. It's very beautiful. And I wanted to go outside and film that for you guys because I know you don't get to see this very often. But I'll be putting perches up here in the corner, probably a visual barrier with slats in the middle so they can fly the whole 200 feet. And potentially I'm gonna add some extra supports and maybe a whole section that's covered in some kind of clear plastic so it doesn't get rained on as hard. Even though just like these birds, the eagles and osprey will just sit in the rain and wait it out too. Well, well, well. A full double rainbow. Heaven's friendly again. The Lord really has blessed this land, hasn't he, guys? Oh, there it is in the wide angle. <laughs> what a beautiful day. Old Uncle Ben's gonna see if he can get a nice picture from this ostrich enclosure, even though it's nasty. Here, let's see if we can get a... Hey, ladies, let's see if we can get a nice picture in here. Don't know if I love her backing me into a corner. I think that they think that I'm just a big food item, but that's okay. Oh, nothing like like getting cornered by three adult female muscle mommy ostriches. Oh, that doesn't feel good. Okay, I got my picture for the Instagram. Get out of my way, go. So get out of my way. Homelander, who's actually a woman, is still very friendly with me. And even though I already fed them this morning, they still just want more food. When they're wet, you can definitely see how much bigger the other females are than Homelander. Look how big their footprints are, you guys. This is why there's no more grass in this area. But look at this, you guys. There's a pond here. And this is all nice water that these guys can be drinking too. Delicious. But we just need Prairie Creek Ponds to come out and help us again. Wow, look at that, you guys. One last look at the rainbow, and I'm gonna head back to the house. Maybe I can get another shot from over over here. <laughs> yeah, not the same. But check this out, you guys. The pond is doing really well. Oh, there's a lot of frogs in here. I almost slipped. Almost slipped on this horrifying anthill. Sure glad I was wearing shoes when I stepped on this. But garbanzo beans is probably one of the happiest ducks alive out here. All he does is just dive, wave his butt around, and then make this weird little noise. And to think that he was at one point just a random duck that somebody abandoned downtown. The fall in central Texas sure is something else, isn't it, you guys? But I do think that putting just a ton of sand here would probably be the best thing. They also eat it and it's good for their stomach. It helps them digest their food. All of this grass is doing super well. Obviously, I don't really need to water it every day like I used to. But now I'm going to go ahead and see if I can try and move the cappies into their area by my house. Nothing like watching this boy fly around. And for some reason, I put Patrick back here. I forget why, but I I have a little clip of him kissing me on the lips if you guys want to see that. Patwick moment. This man loves to just sit next to me and bother me whenever I'm sitting here. Like this video or I'll suck on your toes. This heron flight pen is doing really well. And there's too much water in here because of the rain. I've been trying to get somebody to come out and cut a hole in there. I don't know how to do it. But my guys said they would come out and cut a hole to make that an enclosure pretty soon. But I put big ounce in here and forgot about it. And I'm afraid he got a little bit wet. Now it's 80 degrees out and big ounce isn't in danger when he gets wet. But you can see that he's very ready to get back into the shade. <laughs> I've actually never seen a prairie dog this wet before. That's not true. We've seen him swim before. Oh, he just climbed onto my back. Why are you on my back, Biggerton? Are you ready to go back inside and get dried off, buddy? All right, buddy, come on. Let's get you back inside. Patrick's still a little bit scared of the dogs for some reason, even though they've never made a charge at him or anything like that before. Why do you think I'm joking? He just keeps jumping right up there for some reason. Wet ounce for today. Come on, big ounce. Come on up. You know how to get up here. You built it after all. There he goes. Come on, big ounce. This is actually his first time coming in the new house. Since he built it, of course. Excellent craftsmanship. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Ounce? Oh, this poor boy is so wet. Welcome to your new home, big ounce. It's just like the other cows. Steve and Herobrine are doing well. Would you like to give Steve and Herobrine a worm, big ounce? Okay, 
right, guys, this is Big Ounce doing this, not me. Let's see if Hero Brian will eat this little worm I put here for him. I guess you really can't overfeed these guys, can you? Look who's already scratching my new couch. Yep, he's definitely looking at it. Just doesn't seem too interesting. Okay, so it turns out you cannot overfeed these guys. They only eat when they want to. Well, you guys, here it is. Big Ounce finished building this house. If you ask me, I say he did a very par job. You did a great job with the craftsmanship. Could have been done a little bit faster. We had a contract for two years. But okay, I'm gonna take this little wet mole rat and bring him back to his little area. I'm gonna put Poggers and Queen over here so they, come on Queen, let's go, let's go. Yes. And now they can socialize with all these babies. If you guys don't know, Queen was raised by goats. She's just running into walls over there. But Queen was raised by goats and Poggers was raised by a pig. So both of them do very well with goats and sheep, especially precious little babies like this. And I think it'll be good for whoever gets these little guys next to have goats that are socialized with dogs so that these little fellas know not to be afraid of them. And I want to put Patrick in here with them, but I'm afraid that Patrick will run into walls and die. Now I need to move the cappies to the front. I think the best way to do that is just going to be to lift this gate here or to wait until the next video. Big ounce, I have a towel. Do you want to come out? We can cuddle on the couch and play video, buddy. You want to come out? You want to come out, buddy? Okay, I'll just leave you in. He says, how could you forget about me? Man, it's really coming down now. That's it for now, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching my video. And supporting me throughout all the years. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, almost forgot to tell you. Ah!